Hi, my name is Connor Scott. I'm on the Envirothon team here at David Prouty High School. Our team is a part of a statewide competition to research uh, environmental issues, and we'd like to give you some tips and tricks on um, taking care of your waterfront property. Hi, my name is Faye Kaziewski of David Prouty's Envirothon team, and I have some tips and tricks for keeping a garden thriving on waterfront property. So you can keep your lawn and garden in other area, cleared areas small, enjoy the natural beauty and privacy of the site, maximize the opportunity for phosphorus-rich stormwater to soak into the ground. Hi, I'm Sean Simento, and I have some more tips on maintaining your waterfront property. You should use fertilizers only if soil test indicates the need, and apply small amounts over periods of weeks, and never apply fertilizer before or right after heavy rain. Liquid fertilizer may be the best to run off excess phosphorus if properly added. Plant deep rooted vegetation along shores. The roots stabilize the shoreline. Hi, I'm Haley Brown with David Prouty's Envirothon team. Choose natural alternatives to herbicides or pesticides for your garden and lawn and redesign your garden using local plants so that it will require less maintenance. Herbicides and pesticides are poisonous and easily carried by runoff water into lakes and drinkable water supply. Also, don't bag your grass clippings. Let them be natural fertilizers instead of adding lawn fertilizers. My name is Christopher Gleason and uh, my tip is that whenever you're washing a car or other large item, uh, only use plain water or detergents that do not contain phosphate and never let the detergents or the rinse water get into the lake or stream that you live on. Try not to rake all of the leaves on your lawn because having some fallen leaves can help to filter or trap rainwater and when they break down they're great fertilizer.